Hello everyone and welcome to the Local Youth Club Online Grand Scheme Tutorial. So today we're just going to go through the new online Grand Scheme. So the new online system is going to replace the paper version. So we won't be accepting paper applications anymore. The only way that you'll be able to apply is through this new online system. This is really good for a number of reasons. Uh, the new online system is going to improve efficiency and saving of time. You will also be able to see your applications year on year. They'll be stored on your account. When you register for the online grant system, uh, you will have your own account that your club will have access to and you will be able to see every year what you applied for. In order to apply for the grant scheme, you should get an email from Submit, that's the company that are supporting us with the online grant scheme tutorial. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to help you to fill in the new online grant application form. And don't worry if after the tutorial you have any questions, you can contact us at youthofficer at tipperaryetb.ie and we will support you as best we can to, uh, in the application. And just to say, that the online grant application is the very same as the paper one that you're so used to filling in over the last few years. Um, so in order to apply for the grant scheme, you will uh, you should get um, an email from Submit, that's the company that are supporting us with the online grant scheme tutorial. So just to get started. So in order to apply for the local youth club grant scheme, you must register your youth club. And to do this, you have to have a generic club email address. So that is an email address that might be, for example, uh, clockjordangfs at gmail.com or drummoneeryouthclub at gmail.com, um, as long as it's not a personal email. It needs to be an email that's accessible to more than one person in the club, just in case somebody is sick and you get a, an email about the grant or whatever, that that, um, that it isn't just one person that's looking after it. So you're going to need this email to register for the grant. So um, if, you are, if you have a club that has received the grant last year and you have a generic email uh, that we have that already, well, then we will send those, we will send that information to submit and uh, they will send you an email then with your login details prompting you to register. So in order to do that, again, you just need to have um, a generic club email address and you have to have received the grant last year because that means we have your details. Um, and uh, once you receive the email, then you've 72 hours to register. And when the application itself opens, you'll receive another email prompting you to begin the application. Now, if you have received the grant last year and you don't have a generic email address, all you have to do is just get a new email, a generic email, and uh, make us aware, just send that to us, and we can send your details on to submit. But again, if you have any queries, you can ask us uh, through email at youthofficer, tipper, youthofficer at tipperaryetb.ie. Uh, with any queries and we'll we'll do our best to support. If you're a club that did not receive the local youth club grant scheme last year, well again contact youth officer at tipperaryetb.ie and we'll support you through uh, uh, the registration. So now we're going to just go over um, to the online application, show you what it looks like and go through each question and you will see it is the very same as the paper version. So don't be worried. So here we are at the sign in page. So you put in your login details, your password and you sign in. And when you sign in, uh, it brings you to this page. You go apply here and then you click on the Tipperary ETB Local Youth Club Grand Scheme 2025 link. So that brings you to this page and this page just has all the details on the local youth club grant scheme 2025 very same as the paper copy so when you've looked through that just the criteria um, uh, the, the eligibility um, and just all those details uh, and when you've gone through that then you just press apply 
and you're into the grant form, the application form. So first, name the club, Tipperary Town Youth Club. I'm not going to fill in every single um, question, but um, just going to bring you through through them all. All right. Club meeting, meeting uh, place address. So you just put in your address in there wherever the club meets. Uh, your air code, I'll have to put an air code here because it will, if you don't put in, um, uh, the, if you don't answer a question that's required, uh, when you come to the end and you press submit, it'll bring you back to that question. As you can see over on the left hand side here, as you're filling out the questions, uh, it gets a tick tick. And these ones here, this um, exclamation mark means that those questions haven't been filled out or they haven't been filled out correctly. So contact details for the application. So I'm just going to put in my own. Again, these are all required. So I'll put myself down as the secretary. Uh, contact number, I'll go the American way, 555, whatever else they say. So the top three are required and the next three are not. So the next three, uh, name of regional youth officer, commissioner, club development officer. Uh, different groups and clubs have different structures. So you will know yourself what to put in, in, in those two text boxes. And then the last, the bottom one there is just uh, if you have any social media profiles, either Instagram or Facebook, if you have it and you want to share them, that's where you where you put the, those details. Is your club a registered charity? Yes. Question five, uh, the charity number. You'll all have access to that. I'll just make one up there. Let me put that in. Is your club affiliated to any of the national youth organizations below? So there's quite a big list. Uh, so you have your Freuga, um, Scouts, Guides. Uh, so you just pick the one that that is uh, that you're associated with. And then Seven. Question seven, is your group volunteer led? If it's a volunteer based uh, leaders and young people, yeah. Please give a description, a brief description of your group and look, it gives you the example. What does your club group do? Who does it? Where it does? How it does it? So you just answer those questions and put them in there. So just put something in there, move on. How many hours per week does your group club spend working directly with young people? So you have a drop down box here, less than two, two to four, four to six or more than six hours. So we'll go two to four. And then uh, the days and the times. So you have to put in one at least. See, there's your exclamation marks again. Uh, so we'll go and there's a drop down menu here. So we'll go Friday and we'll go uh, 7 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. Number of young people, we'll say 30. Number of leaders, we'll say 5. And location, community hall, or wh wherever it is that you're based, that's what you put in there. And if you meet more than once a week, you can put in um, you can put them down that there's there's uh, seven options altogether or there's more than seven probably. Um, so if you meet more than once, then you can use the other drop down menus there. Please give details of adult volunteer leaders. So again, you have to put a number um, in these boxes. So uh, even if you don't, so if you don't have any male leaders, you have to put in zero. Uh, because again, it'll redirect you back to put a number. Uh, so say female leaders, two, oh, they're not stated, zero. Males, it's two, four, so I have to put in one more because I did say five and zero. And it totals it up for you there. Question 12, please give details. Now they are looking for details of young people. So again, you have to put an inner numerical order in all the boxes. So under 10, zero, female zero. And we will put 10, uh, five, zero, um, five, uh, 10, zero. And we'll just put zero in all the other boxes. And I'm actually going to leave one empty on purpose. I'm not going to put it in. So 
I'll bring this back later on and I'll show you. And, sorry, I should have said, so in order to be eligible for the scheme, 75% of the membership must be aged between the ages of 10 to 21 years old, to 21 years. So when you put in all your numbers, it totals it up down here. So you have 30 young people and 100% uh, of them are between the ages of 10 to 21. So this must be 75 or more. Uh, and again, it just asks, just another way of asking that question, are 75% of your club group members between the ages of 10 to 21? You have to say yes. Please tick, and then now, now we're on to the section two, which is the national quality standards uh, for volunteers. So the NQSF questions, which are all the very same as what you would have done before on the paper. So you just have, the first question is just a tick box exercise. So you must be fully compliant with children first. All leaders must be guard vetted. You have to have a, a appropriate insurance. Um, access by volunteers uh, or volunteers must have access to a first aid kit and they must be able to use it correctly. And finally, on that page, then that the group or club owns a premises. Uh, if the group or club owns a premises, you have to have a health and safety statement, policy or procedures. And if you don't own it, if you're renting it, you have to make sure that there is a health and safety um, statement and policies or procedures in place um, in the building. So section two. Uh, so again, these are all the same questions that they ask every year. Uh, number 15, this is in relation to standard one safety and well-being. Is there a registration process for uh, Sorry, for club or group members in place. So you have three options in place, somewhat in place and not in place. So if you put in place and then it asks you for an example. Again, I'm not going to take up your time now. Um, you know, uh, the, you know, the, you give these answers every week. So whatever the registration process is, you just write it in there. 16, does your club group have a parent guardian consent form? You can say somewhat in place and then you give your brief example of what that looks like. Does your club group have a medical consent form in place? And again, a brief example of what that looks like. Uh, please describe one area that your club has developed during the past year in relation to standard one. Again, you're all going to have everybody, every club is individual, so you're all going to have examples that you can you can put in in here. 19, um, we're gone to standard two now, uh, young person centered. So we'll just do the in place. And again, the example. Uh, are young people actively involved in running the club? We'll go in place and give an example. Don't be copying my examples now. Are activities accessible, available, accessible and inclusive in place? And here, example. So you can see that this is really very same as uh, the, the, the paper version of the application form. So that's just what, what you developed in relation to standard two last year uh, is planning. So now we're going on to standard three. We're flying through it. And we're on question 23, a, 23 already and there's 35 questions. So it's, it's, not, it's not too cumbersome at all. So this is the planned program of activities, uh, the example there. Are young people's needs, abilities, interests and potential recognized and developed? So you can put somewhat air in place there. And again, your example is young people's participation and achievement recognized. And your example. So before we go on to the next question, I'm just going to show you what happens if you have to stop and come back to it. You can save and quit. And that just takes you back to the home page. And when you're ready to go back into it, you log in again and then you just press continue and it brings you exactly back to where uh, you left off. So next question is support and training provided for volunteer leaders. We're going to put not in place here. 
give data as why support and training is not provided for leaders. So it's, it doesn't matter what, what, which answer you, uh, which drop down uh, choice you make, you still have to give a sample exam, an example or a reason as to why that isn't in place. So you know yourself what to put there. Please describe one area of your club group has developed during the past year. So same again, another, another example. And then finally, in relation to the uh, standards, the last question is just asking you to uh, choose which one, which one of the three standards are you going to um, improve on in the coming year? So you say you can pick whichever one you like. And then of course you have to give an example. And then that brings us on to section three now, which is the grant details. So please ask, uh, indicate the amount you want. So we'll put in the, the full 3000. Please list what the grant will be used for and it gives you examples there and you can literally copy and paste and put those in because they are the usual that you would use anyway. And if you want to add in anything like trips or uh, maybe you have more specific ones. Uh, but you only have uh, 50 word count anyway. Uh, number 31, please describe how the grant will enhance the young people. So what, what will the grant do for your club? That's where you put that there. Did you receive funding under the scheme last year? Uh, so yes. So after you click uh, that you yes to receive the funding, um, this is the table that you must fill in to uh, show how much you were awarded and how much you spent. So as you can see here, name the grantee is already in there from, for, uh, from when you fill that in the first question. The award that you were granted, we'll say it was 2,000. The amount you spent, we'll say you spent 2,000. And then the unspent goes down to zero. And then you put in your list of what you um, what you spent the money in there. Just a very brief list. Don't, don't have to put in too much detail. Um, and then you have to sign. So this is a declaration related to the club report, uh, the club report form. So as the secretary, I will sign that. And it's just to say that the invoices receipts used to support the report relate to activities and services appropriate to the grant scheme objectives. And and just to say that. Uh, you do have adequate financial controls that the money is looked after and that you've kept the invoices or receipts. Okay, so you must put in your bank details here. So it's Tipperary Town uh, Club and your bank account. Is your club registered for tax purposes? No. You need to submit details of income and expenditure for the fine for the financial year past financial year would you prefer to so you have two options here so if you click upload a document with the details just do that and then you just choose file and you take the folder or the files off your computer and if you want to complete the details in an online table so this is your income and expenditure table. Uh, so you've done this every year as well. So it's very straightforward. You just have your income uh, monies received over here and your monies spent over at the other side, over the right hand side there. And then it gives you all the total, the balance. And then we are on to the final question. Uh, question number 35 is just a signature signed on behalf of and your club name will come up there. Uh, so let's get sign that. And next. So it said invalid answers found. So I have two places that I didn't fill it in correctly. So you just go back and it brings you to exactly where you made the mistake. I must have just clicked on it. And the other question then is, was question 12. So we just scroll down here and get to the question and see it has the exclamation mark on it there. 
So what I didn't do was I didn't put in the zero. So then you can go all the way back up to submit. Check in the answers. Application is valid. Your application is ready to be submitted and you just press submit. And there you go and finish. And you will get um, an email when you sign it. Your signature has to be verified. So after you submit the application, you will get an email to that account then to verify um, the, the signature. Uh, and all you do is just click on verify signature. And that's it, folks.